Clint Cosgrove, Rivals National Recruiting Analyst here with uh, one of the top players in the nation and definitely one of the top tight ends, 2024, Tavion Galloway out of Chillicothe, Ohio. Uh, Tavion, thanks for coming on to talk about your recruitment, man. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. Yes, it's always a pleasure when we can connect. Now let's dive right into the latest in your recruitment. And uh, you've had a busy couple of weeks with some some uh, new offers coming through. Uh, yes, I know you got uh, LSU and and then Michigan State, and then followed that with Rutgers. So uh, give me an idea of how each one of those kind of happen, and then your thoughts on each of those schools: LSU, Michigan State, and Rutgers. Yes, sir. Um, actually, we're with them with LSU. Um, I was being recruited by Coach Kelly whenever he was at Notre Dame and being recruited by the tight end coach, um, Coach Denbrock, whenever he was at um, Cincinnati. And that's actually who offered me at Cincinnati. And they they both moved over to LSU. And um, Coach Coach Denbrock, I keep in touch with him all the time. But, yeah, they they eventually just offered me. And I think I think highly of LSU, honestly. Um, their, their football culture is just incredible. And everybody knows that's one of the – that's just one of the top schools. No doubt. No doubt. Now, uh, tell me about Michigan State, how that happened, and your thoughts on that. Uh, previously, I, I already um, visited Michigan State uh, for a game day visit, and then I came I came back for a junior day, and I got to talk to Coach Gilmore and Coach Tucker. And whenever whenever I was down talking with Coach Gilmore, um, we was, it was just me and one other 24 kid, and he told me that he offered me. He was giving me a full ride scholarship offer. That's awesome. Now, uh, we didn't talk about this off camera, but Coach Gilmore and I were on staff together at uh, Nebraska, and he's also a good family friend. And then actually Coach Tucker played for my dad at Wisconsin uh, back in the day. So, oh, yeah, that's uh, crazy. It's a small world. I know. It is a small world with football, man. Um, now, Rutgers. Rutgers was the most recent. Uh, tell me about how that went down and then your thoughts on that program. Um, so I, after one of my basketball practices, um, I got on a Zoom call with a lot of the um, Rutgers offensive staff, so, uh, staff like Coach Nazino and stuff like that. Um, and I got on with like the whole offensive staff and I was just sitting there talking. And they were showing me videos and giving me like a virtual tour kind of and just I was getting to know the coaches. And then we was on the call for about an hour. I got to speak to the head coach and everything. And they told me that they was offering me a full ride scholarship. Awesome. That had to have been exciting, uh, yes, especially yes, when you were, <laughs> you were on that good roll. Uh, that had to have felt good. Um, how about uh, let's dive into what's coming up next. And it sounds like you're going to have a busy next week, starting with a long drive down to LSU. You're going to head down to LSU for a visit uh, this weekend. Tell yes, me sir. about tell me about LSU. Uh, you know what you're looking to learn about when you're down there. Uh, cause I know you haven't been there before and, and just, you know, give me your thoughts on that visit. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to get the LSU so I can meet back up with coach Denbrock, build our connection even more, get to talk to coach Kelly, hopefully, um, and then start begin to build our connection because LSU is, it's a real, it's a school that I'm really interested in. I know the culture of LSU is really just different. They got a big culture and, you know, being on a team like that, you can push to contend for a national championship, which is exactly what I want to do. Nothing wrong with competing for championships, is there? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, after LSU, you're going to make the trip back up to the Midwest. And uh, I think it's Monday. You're going to hit Michigan, right? Yes, sir. And you've been there before. So what are you looking for on this return trip that maybe you didn't see in the past? I'm just looking to, to, to just embrace the school, honestly. Just learn more about the school. Learn more how they – how they push their like what what how they help their players exceed after athletics like like I was saying earlier because uh, I care yeah. more, I don't care way more just about football I want to know what a college can help me do after football after my athletic career I just hope to find out more about that the um, academics and I just want to keep building my connection with the coaches um I, 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 in my opinion I think Michigan got some pretty cool staff that um I, I want to build my connection with. Awesome. And uh, after that, not not far after, uh, you're going to head to Cincinnati, which is obviously a little close to home. And and you've been there a few times. Um, same thing. 
uh, you've been there. What what are you looking for out of this trip that maybe you didn't learn on previous trips to Cincinnati? Um, I I really want to um I really want to get to um, building my connection with the new tight end coach at Cincinnati as Denbrock, Denbrock who's at LSU now, um, who's who offered me from Cincinnati. Um, he's not there no more, and they got a new tight end coach that I've actually spoke on the phone with a few times. I just want to continue to build my connection with him, get to know him more, get to know the whole staff. Perfect. And uh, so, uh, you know, one thing that a theme that I'm noticing with you when you talk about your recruitment is uh, not only, you know, school and, and, and feeling at home, but relationships being important to you. Uh, tell me a little bit about, you know, when it comes time to make a decision, what is going to be most important to you? Is it the school, the facilities, the, you know, the relationships with the coaches? Uh, what what makes Tavion, uh, you know, tick when it comes to making a choice? Relationships is definitely like one of the biggest things in my mind because I definitely want to be, I want to feel like I'm joining a family whenever I, whenever I commit to a school. I want to feel like it's just a family thing. I don't want to feel like I'm just going to a school just because they're a big name or their athletics are big or everybody just talks about them in that type of way. I, no, I want I want that to be like my favorite school in mind. I want I want to be cool with all the staff, knowing that after I leave the after I leave the school, I still have a connection with everybody that I build a connection with. Cause connections are everything. Connections will get you a far way. And obviously, if I got a closer connection to somebody, I'm gonna want to play for them more. I'm gonna play better for them. I'm gonna wanna I'm gonna wanna go out and do more for my teammates if I got a good connection with them. Man, you got me fired up. I want to coach you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, uh, all of that being said, you know, we know what's important to you. I know where you're going. Um, do you have, I mean, and you're 24, you got plenty of time, but do you have a list of favorite schools or are things wide open right now? No, sir. Not at the moment. Things are completely wide open for me. I'm still getting, I'm still getting, I'm still early on in my recruitment process. I want to learn more about a lot of these schools. So I don't have a top list right now. Yeah. And I'm sure there's a lot of schools that you haven't even talked to that will, that will be coming in on you because, you know, like I told you, I watched your film beforehand. You have a dynamic skill set. Uh, you've got great size. Uh, you can line up with your hand in the dirt. You've got that frame, but you can also flex out, stretch the field as a receiver. So uh, you can also play a little bit of defense as well. So I'll be interested to see if, if coaches are uh, trying to poach you for that side of the ball, um, you know, because defensive coaches tend to uh, do that sometimes. But yes, um, yeah, defense, defense is where it's at for sure. I love playing defense. Yeah, well, you you, uh, you can definitely see that on film. So uh, we discussed a lot, and I know you're not ready for favorites. There's still a lot to learn in the process. But, you know, uh, commitment timeline. You know, some guys like to get it over sooner than others. Some guys like to play it out as long as possible. Davian, what is your plan for a commitment? Do you have a timeline? Uh, when would you like to get this done? Over the course of the summer, as I start to visit more schools and build a connection with the schools and start to figure out in my mind which I think schools are best for me in my in my career, I think, honestly, um, at the end of the summer will be, a, will be a good time to get a time for a commitment down. That's great. So you're ready to get it done early and, and continue to build those relationships and – Kind yes, of sir. I'm not a guy that likes that. to play around a lot with the media and stuff. Whenever I know where I want to go, that's when I'll commit. I love it. I love it. Well, hopefully you give me a heads up so we can do a commitment uh, video like this beforehand. But, uh, man, it's been, it's been a lot of fun learning about you, talking with you about your recruitment. I look forward to following you. It's crazy. Not, not only next year, but the year after and then college after that. But I really yes, appreciate your time, man. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking with you. And I wish you the best of luck, Tavian. Yes, sir. I appreciate you. No doubt, man. We'll talk soon, okay? Yeah, talk soon, Coach. Sir. All right.